here to do like a semi-decent size one. Hi everybody, this is just the Book Art Goddess and... Jada, she's like, Word Lush, why do you say that every time you say that I go to yawn or sneeze or something? You have when issues. When it's my turn, it says, no, you're not going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> she has issues. We all know it. It's okay. We love you. Anyways, guys, about today, <laughs> today is Top 5 Wednesday, and Top 5 Wednesday was started by Ginger Reads Laney, and I will leave a link down below to the group. And this week's topic is futuristic books so your top five futuristic books and I have two honorable mentions let me just grab these before we get started and it was only because it was really hard to decide and that was article five by Kirsten Simmons and this is fantastic it is a dystopian um, world which I, I'm you know I know a lot of people are over dystopian I am sort of too but this is just a really really good book I love the premise I love these the way they set up these articles and the people that are fighting against it and it's just awesome. Just really, really good book to read. And then The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and she thinks I should have put it higher up in the, the thing because I have talked about this book a lot. But when given the choice of my selections, this one just came under it just a little bit. But I did really, really, really enjoy The Fifth Wave. And I did just read Finish Infinite Sea, and I enjoyed this ser series as a whole, and I'm looking forward to more in this book, in this world, because it is definitely futuristic. The aliens have invaded, and we are in trouble. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> so I'll let her go first with the, her number five book while I grab my books off the floor. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I read this in middle school. So... Yeah, I've actually read a total of six futuristic books that she can but think of. She probably has read more, but she probably no. just can't think of them all. I can only think of six right now. Yeah. Because the only other one I can think of is The City of Embers. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. not in this pile. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Gathering Blue is a companion to The Giver, mm -hmm. if you guys haven't read it. I read The it. Giver. Yeah, I read The Giver and Gathering Blue and stuff. I read it was so Blue. funny. But Gathering Blue, it's all in that world. But Gathering Blue seems like, because um, she wasn't quite sure because we were talking about it, and it seems like a um, historical fiction, but it's not. It's in that world, and but you have to read the series to find out. It's really, really good. So, okay, guys. My number five spot is The Darkest Mind by Alexander Barkin. I love this book. The kids in the book have powers. There are different degrees of powers, and they're um, put. the kids are rounded up and put into these camps and the ones that have powers and stuff it is just a phenomenal read I love this series um oh my gosh I can't say enough good things about it if you like x-men if you like um uh what was that push that movie push and stuff like that the mind powers anything like that telekinet telekinetics time. telekinesis all those types of things then this is definitely Jumper. a book for you. Alrighty, coming in at number four is Lauren Oliver's Delirium. This is the one about they found a cure for love because love causes all these problems, they think, and then without it, you'll have a better functioning society. And then this is probably the only dystopian beside, no, yeah, I guess, that I've actually read recently. Right. So. Right. Okay, for me, coming in at number four is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi and again another X-Men-esque type book. This the main character Juliet is like rogue in X-Men if you've ever read X-Men. She has the power to when she touches you to give you immense pain or to kill you. It's like the longer she touches you you'll probably die. So it's just fantastic. I love 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 this book. I love the series. And, yeah, you should so check it out. It's just fantastic. Coming in at number three is Mothership by Martin Leisht and Isla Neal. Um, this book put a lot of people off because it's a pregnancy book. But it's a futuristic book, and a bunch of pregnant teenagers are on a ship in space. And there's a twist. And then there's a, oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, and then there's a book, too. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The but way she talks, the way she talks about this book makes me want to read it. And I, when I, I read saw it, I didn't to want to, and then I'm like, oh my gosh. A couple months ago, we're going again in a week, but I read it when we went to Florida a couple months ago, and 
I read this on the way there, and Mom's like, what? What's going on? What's, what's... And I told her, and she goes, that sounds really good. I feel like it didn't get the hype it should have. Right. And, and it's pro and I think a lot of it, it has got to more do the negative cover. reviews than it did positive, and I don't think, I think people went into it expecting not to like it, therefore didn't take the story for what it was, and just decided that they didn't like it. Right, right. And I think because of the cover and the fact of teen pregnancy and stuff, I think people didn't like it because of that. On Aliens, they just were like, oh, that's way out there. But she really, really enjoyed it. And what she said about it, it sounds fantastic, and I do need to read it. Yes. Okay. What's really funny, my number three book is an alien book also. It says Alienated by Melissa Landers, and I absolutely loved Alienated. I cannot wait for Invaded. And this is reminiscent, if you guys have ever watched the CW's show, what was it, Starcrossed? Yes. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. Aliens have come to Earth. And, <laughs> but that's kind of like, it's kind of reminiscent of that, but there's so much going on to it. They're, oh my gosh, they're not supposed to like each other. There's the romance. It's so good, so good, guys. You should so check it okay, out. Okay, so it. coming in in the second spot, only because nothing beats the first one ever. <laughs> is how to break up with an alien, well, it's how to date an alien and how to break up with an alien. I haven't read the third one yet, but, which is how to marry an alien, but yes, that book. And that book is by Megan Vernon, and I love this series so far. It she is does, so she talks good. about it all the time. So good. Oh my god, it's so good. Yes, but it's so aliens good. and the love story thing, and she loves that stuff. Okay, this book, I have raved to people about it, I love it. And it is All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. I love, love, love this book. I mean, seriously, I think this is a fantastic series. It is a girl whose family, um, her parents have passed away. Um, and she basically hey. has to take responsibility for the family business, which it's kind of like the mob. But the family business is chocolate. And their chocolate's illegal. So it's just a fascinating story of one girl's fight to survive, to keep her family going, and to run her family's business and keep the legacy going and try to do it in a way that, um, I don't know, tries to do it in a way that doesn't end up in jail, I guess. But it's fascinating. I love this series. It's so good. You should so check it out. All that stuff. <laughs> My number one is James Patterson's Maximum Ride. That is her favorite. It has been her favorite for years, by the way. I know. That. Loves that. So, the reason I love this is because when I was younger, me and Mom used to watch this TV show called Dark Angel. Very reminiscent and of Dark Angel. And this is just perfect. <laughs> Kids being experimented on, things like that. It's, yeah, definitely yes. reminiscent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Um. Okay. My number one spot... Oh my gosh, anybody who's watched this channel probably knows what fu futuristic book I took, but it's this, it's Cressley Cole's Poison Princess. I love it, guys. I don't know if you do, but if you've read it, if whatever, let me know um, what you think, but I love this series. It is amazing. It is so, I don't know, the, the world is so intricate. The way she designed it, the way she has this game that they play in the book, it's it's crazy. It's dystopian, futuristic, slash, everything. I don't know, it's everything. There's um, tons and tons of different characters, but um, it's basically from the Evie's point of view, the main character, and it is just so good. I don't even know how to give it, uh, explain it and give it justice because it's so good. It is just so, so fantastic. If you guys want something different, something fresh, something new, check this out. It is amazing. And I give it like 100 stars. <laughs> it's just fantastic. So definitely my top one spot for futuristic books. Okay, guys. Again, if you guys do it, leave us a link below. Let us know. And we will see you at the next Top 5 Wednesdays. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>